For a few weeks now, advocates have been voicing concerns about a proposed festival venue that they said would push out the LGBTQ community, but city officials provided us an update late this afternoon saying they've dropped that venue from the proposal. For decades, Hanolins Point has been considered a safe haven for Toronto's LGBTQ community, but a transformative proposal that includes a live event space for festivals by the city has raised alarms. Important to remember that this is Canada's oldest surviving queer space. It does feel like the queer community is being squeezed out. Travis Myers is with Hands Off Hanolins, a newly formed grassroots group of beachgoers concerned the festival space could expose the LGBTQ community to discrimination and homophobic violence. Um, there have been incidences of violence and discrimination. We need to make sure that the handful of jerks who are showing up and causing a commotion and hurting people don't turn into thousands of people who are showing up and don't understand the space. The draft master plan includes a formalized festival space on the lawn where events and music festivals have been held in the past. By adding some permanent infrastructure like a power drop at a minimum, and the proposal also called for some shaping of the space, like a, creating a sort of a natural amphitheater. Daniel Fusca, who is the manager of public consultation for Toronto Parks, Forestry and Recreation, says the city decided to drop the festival venue proposal today following recent community feedback. We've heard from over 2,000 people loud and clear that that's not something that people want. And so um, we've decided to be, to be uh, res res responsive to the community and accountable to the community and drop that proposal. Meaning it will be status quo. The Toronto Islands are part of Councillor Osma Malik's ward. And this is a huge opportunity to improve the process and make it better by including community voices and coming up with a framework that is going to make sure that this is a safe and protected space for generations to come. Tonight at the 519, the community will have an opportunity to provide the city with more feedback, an opportunity, Meyer says, to change the course. How we can make this into um, an official heritage space or a place that has some sort of uh, concrete designation as a historically queer area so that we don't have to do this again in five or 10 or 15 years. A commemoration city officials say they are committed to, adding the new master plan for the Toronto Islands is far from being finalized. Now, many community members are just learning of this new development at tonight's meeting. The city says there will be a virtual consultation on March 9th, and it intends on presenting its master plan for the Toronto Islands to City Council in the fall.